Well, hi there everyone, and welcome back to Subnautica. Well, last time we were off exploring that, life pod number six, which was very, very empty and just a bit broken, and there was nobody there, and yeah. Today, we are going off this way because we got two distress calls on the relay. One for six and one for life pod number eight. Now, number eight is heading off towards the Aurora. So that was always my aim at some point, so I guess we're going to do it sooner rather than later. It is still night at the minute. Now, what I'm wanting to do is, uh, since last episode, I have been not doing that. I have been swimming around, collecting things, getting some food, getting some water, getting some bits, found some more gold, things like that. So I've got a pretty full inventory. I want to get my inventory a bit emptied. It is getting to be morning already. We need to set off. Uh, so what I'm going to do is build one of these, a waterproof locker, which I might not be able to pick up. I can. So all that that's going to do is let me store some stuff in the water somewhere. Uh, let's just dive in and find somewhere to put this. Um, I'm just going to... where am I going to put this? Straight down? Yeah, just drop it straight down here actually. Might just as well be. Um, right mouse button to drop. Yeah, fine. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Drop it. Uh, open storage. There we go. So I can just put this quartz, titanium, the gold. Um, I might want that, that and that. Just empty me out, just a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to leave the rebreather here because over there I'm in the radiation zone. So that's really emptied my inventory, hasn't it? So they're all just fine and down there. And I am going to get lost really quickly. Quickly go up, come on, and see if there's another medikit popped up in here. There is. So let's take that and let's head off and see what's happened to life pod number eight. Uh, in the voice log, life pod number eight, requesting immediate assistance. We have touched down too close to the crash site. Radiation levels are too high. If anyone can hear this, please come and help us evac. So I do have a spare radiation suit. Somehow, though, I think I'm not going to need it. So let's have a swim and see what's about here. I'm swimming over here because I've noticed that there is... I need to bind those keys better. There is... some crushed debris down here. Is there anything I can scan? No. Is that still hot underwater after all this time? That's crazy. So this is clearly getting into much deeper territory, much deeper water. What is that? I cannot cut it, whatever it is. What's that? Another creature egg. Now that would be good, but I think I'm going to leave it. This is much deeper water. Uh, where am I going? Life pod number eight, that way. Through the creep vines. Hopefully not annoying anything en route. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, oh, hello, something's glowing a bit just there. Let's go and investigate that. Right, I'm really low on water, so I've got a couple of waters. Should last me for the day, I'm a bit unprepared with water. Okay, this... As we're getting close to the ship, we are getting more and more of this sort of stuff. So clearly we want to be around here, I think. Metal salvage. Bits of ship. Anything worthwhile? Metal salvage. That looks interesting. It's metal salvage. 
Uh, there's nothing here. Is there, is there any way into this? No, there is no way into that. I think there's nothing here worth getting, though I might have to come back and have a proper look. But we're getting distracted. We're trying to get over there to life pod number eight. Always worth checking. Hello. Well, you appeared out of nowhere, didn't you? Is there anything around here? A bit more salvage. Nothing, really. What's that? A container. Open supply crate. Let's do that. Yep, full of sand. Okay, so not a lot then. Life pod number eight. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Now, I think I just heard something just then. And I'm not totally convinced about what it was. But it sounded rather large. There's more metal salvage over here, look. There's tons of stuff near the Aurora. This is where we need to be, isn't it? It's not been dangerous so far. But there is no way that's going to last. There's stuff in here, I think. Let's get in here. Can we fit? Oh, we can fit through that gap. Have to go in from the other end. That means we're going to be trapped in here, doesn't it? Supply crates. Medikit, useful. Uh, what's in here? Medikit, lovely. Um, I might leave that actually, I know where it is on the way back. Power cell. Okay. We can take that. Right, we're getting close. Oh, water. Nice, that is what I need. That is getting... Seconds deep of over there. Remaining. It's getting uncomfortably deep. That's really going down a lot further than anything I've seen so far. So we are... there's something on the surface there. Life pod number eight. It should. There's a horrible thing there. Um, it should be there. I think, yeah, there's something there. Is that a life pod? Is that it? That might be life pod number eight. Let's have a look. It's definitely a life pod. It is not life pod number eight. It's life pod number four. Oh my, that's a long way down. Increased radiation. Okay, medikit. Water. Things... No, no, that's me flippers outside. Um, is anything in here? This thing is completely shut down, isn't it? That's a fabricator, but it's not working. That's a bit of glitchiness. No, that's completely empty. Uh, so... I've got number eight. It should be around here somewhere. I have this horrible feeling it's gone into the abyss. I can't, oh, I can see the bottom. Damn, that's a long way down. What the hell are these things? Wow. Okay, this is an interesting place. Oh, wow. This biomass area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint Altera technology signals. So there is stuff 
down here. How's my oxygen? It's going to run out soon. Caution. 30 seconds and I'm pretty far down. Remaining. I shall swim along. What is this? Can I scan it? Oh, I'm completely out of time. Wow. Those are cool from underneath. Um, I might not make it to the top. I'm out of water. Oh, that would be very embarrassing. I died. Well, that was very embarrassing, wasn't it? Damn, damn and darnation. Right. Let's get back over there. Okay, so we are back, and my sea glider just run out of power. Exchange power source. Ah. Oh. Battery. Battery, okay, so I can exchange power sources. Uh, select left mouse button. So it is starting to get a little bit dark, actually. I'm just starting to. So we know there's this really cool area over here which needs exploring. However, we also want to have a look at this. This is the Aurora. which appears to be sat on a sandbank. So I just, well, glided my way back over to here. I haven't really seen much on the way. I found a couple more supply crates, but that's about it. There is tons of stuff around here. It's quite dangerous with all these. This is the Aurora, isn't it? Yeah, I'm literally right next to it now. So, there must be a way in somewhere, I would imagine. So, I'm just going to swim around now until I find it, basically. There is so much stuff around here. Medikit. There's a glowing thing over there. There is. So, there is. What is it? Bit of wreckage. Is there a way into it? There is. It's one I've looted, apparently. Fantastic. There seems to be some holes here in the hull. Can I get in over here somewhere? There must be a way in. There simply must be a way into this somewhere. I just can't quite see it at the minute. Unless you actually have to go underneath it somehow. It could well be the other side. This ship is huge. Eh, go away. I have no quarrels with you. You have some major teeth. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, what are all these things? There's loads of wreckage around here too. I also have this horrible feeling that come night time, there are going to be more things around here. What are you, a hoverfish? Hoverfish has gone. The sun is setting. Can I get up onto this? I sort of can, can't I? And I'm reaching the point where I can't actually see what I'm doing anymore. I'm really not very keen on. So what I might do is just sit here getting gently irradiated and wait until the morning when I can see again. 
Seems like a nice place just to sit and have some supper. Okay, so welcome back. It is morning and we have spent the night apparently on this little sandbank with a little shark bugging us all night. But it is now morning, so can we actually just walk along this sandbank? Maybe not. So it's probably time now that we went. Ah, oh dear. Go away, you stupid shark thing. Uh, and did a little bit more exploring. We're actually getting a little bit hungry, so... That was rotten. That was a stupid Vital thing to do. That was a stupid, stupid thing to do. So there's clearly a bit more wreckage over there, but I'm going to head... I'm trying to find my way into the Aurora. Because there must be a way. I've found a bit of dry land. So, she has beached herself. Hasn't she? She has completely and utterly beached herself. Is that a bit of salt? I'm going to nick that. I guess that's good. If she'd landed in deeper water, she would have sunk. I wonder if there's interesting minerals around here. Copper. Not very. It's one of those hoverfish I was trying to get. So this is the front of the ship. Now this looks like it might be a way in. Wow, she's a mess, isn't she? She is a complete and utter mess. Is there any way into her? Holy heck, what was that? I don't think that was you. I Oh my god, what was that? That is huge. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. Well, I do. I'm going the hell as far away from that as I can as quickly as possible. Not you. Well, I thought there would be horrible things around this, and I was right. And that thing was unpleasant, to say the least. Um, okay, so it's a fairly safe bet there's some horrible sea monsters around here. And I'm willing to bet that I have to go round the front of the ship in order to find the way in. Great. In that case, Oh, why the heck? I can hear something. One of those shark things. Oh. Yep, it was there. In that case, I'm guessing that in order to actually get into this, you have to go around the front. And to go around the front, you need to find some technology which has probably been thrown off somewhere else. That would be my guess. Let's see about getting around the back of the ship, just in case, because I haven't explored this side of the ship, but I'm not going around the front just at the minute. Um, I do have a... where is my... I've lost my knife. Oh, flip. Right, I'm going to need a new knife, aren't I? Brilliant. Absolutely flipping brilliant. 
Do they have a usage bar? I don't actually know. Do I know which keys to hit? I don't know that either. What have I got? Titanium. So it's not very exciting. I think I've been in there, haven't I? Yep. Right. How far is it? There is tons of salt around here. I'm very happy to get that because that means I get to make cured food. I'm going to need to get home soon to eat said food. Hello, is there anything down here? I'm getting under the ship there, but I'm really running low on oxygen. And I'm stuck. Don't get stuck. Emergency. Ten seconds Please? of oxygen remaining. Please don't get stuck. I am completely stuck in a glitch. Well, let's go down and see if there's anything down here before it all fades to black. And I'm dead. Again. I feel like that one was less my fault, though. I died and I lost some stuff. Oh, flip, I've lost lots of stuff. Oh, shuff. Darn. Darn, I've lost lots. Oh well, that is the way it goes sometimes. And guys, I'm thinking that that is the end of this episode, because I'm not swimming all the way back over there. Next episode we will see if we can find something more exciting. Well, let's just try swimming around and see what we can find. So thank you very much for watching, and I do hope to see you all once again next time.